Hey folks, welcome back to WWE 13. Jimbo here. And it's SmackDown time! Yeah, that was weird. Uh, alright, so yeah, we're gonna continue on right now. We've got, uh, Goldust vs. Triple H. Uh, Nikki Bella vs. Kelly Kelly. A number one contenders match for the tag team titles between Daniel Bryan and Kane. Taking on Vampiro and the Great Muda. We got Rey Mysterio taking on Jack Swagger. And in the main event, Dolph Ziggler taking on Alberto Del Rio. Pretty good little show here. So uh, I think we're going to do all the matches. And all right, so here we go. And entrance is off. And here we go. Good little show here, I think. Uh, SmackDown has been picking up lately, especially ever since uh, Daniel Bryan won the World Heavyweight title from Sheamus. Uh, now that Daniel Bryan's also a, right now, he's the number one contender for the world, uh, tag team titles currently held by Kofi and R-Truth. So, I think I'm going to be gold dust here because I've been on a roll with him. So, here we go. Big elbow there. Big bulldog out of the corner. Every match tonight is huge. He's got the sleeper in tight. Oh, really a sleeper this early in the match? I'll take it. Watch it and he powers out. I've been watching a whole lot of championship wrestling from Florida lately, so I'm in the mood. Oh no! I'm in the mood for some brawls. Well, Dust is messing him up. Just a fantastic suplex. Three. Ouch. Whip right into that wall. Huge headbutt to him. That's right. Tear his ass up, Gold Dust. Gold Dust is somebody I've never really thought about using a whole lot. And then I used him, and it was awesome. And now I can't get enough of him. Big power slam. Go for the pin. One. Nope. I could definitely see Goldust getting an Intercontinental title shot. Maybe even a title run. Okay, that didn't work. I'd like to give him a title run. I might do that. Oh, no, he missed the shot. Oh, that didn't work. Asshole cat over here trying to attack my brother. <laughs> That cat does just does not like you sometimes. Into the headlock. Alright. Oh, Armbreaker. That's bad. Goldust has the headlock. Big vertical suplex there. Almost kinda like a brain buster. Come on, stand up, big boy. Oh, I have an idea. A strange setup, really? How's that strange? It's a neck breaker. And up. Bend down we go. Into the pin. One. Two. Three. Alright, huge win for Gold Dust. That ought to send him sky high in the rankings. Probably not, though. It usually takes like two or three big wins to move them up any time. There's that epic neck breaker. And then we have the curtain call, which we'll never see for some reason. Because this game is weird. Alright, so Goldust wins. Going to the next match. It's going to be Nikki Bella taking on Kelly Kelly. And... Yeah, I have no idea. I think I'm gonna do Frah Nikki. Nikki's like my go to diva for some reason. Her and AJ. And I have to say Natalia, because Natalia's got some spiffy little moves that I enjoy using. So I just can't ever get anything good out of them. It's like, you, know, you can do good matches. Like, I just had a good match with Goldust and Triple H, but these. So this is a one -on -one and I tried changing the moves around, but it just does not, doesn't really take. 
It's weird. Watch it. Good night. Even though Nikki Bella, like I said, is my go-to diva. She's like the one I chose to redo the moves and like turn into like an actual wrestler wrestler. Nikki, like this. Ow. That's gotta hurt like hell. I don't care if it's like worked or not, that's gotta hurt like hell. Irish whip. Big stinger splash in the corner. Kelly, Kelly gets leveled. Big vertical suplex here. Oh man, what impact from that suplex. Nikki from behind. Uh oh. Oh, too fast. That wasn't too fast at all. Is that neck breaker of her own? That's the second neck breaker tonight. Kelly squeezing down on the head. And face buster. Big the snap mirror there. there. Display there. Hey, what's Nikki gonna do here? Oh my gosh, big time impact. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, big time impact. There. Into the cover goes. There's a kick out by Kelly. Great match here. But if you missed any of the oh. matches from this week, go to WWE. Oh, I got her, but not good enough. All the action. Ah, she did it again. There we go. Watch what out. the hell was that? And I got into a pin. Face Buster. And the Falcon Arrow. Which is going to be lined up perfect with the top turnbuckle. And Centon. Beautiful. One, two, three. All right, Nikki Bella gets another big win. So she should still be up in the rankings. I take the rankings seriously, like, as far as, like, shit. Because, you know, that's how you get to have title matches. When you become a number one contender, you get a title match. Let's be honest. This one wasn't even close. Oh, yeah. That was about as far from an even match as you can get. All right, next match. Now, I want Muda and Vampiro as the number one contenders for the tag titles. Because uh, they're... I think they've only had one loss the entire time. They've been a tag team, and I think Muda's only had one loss. And this is, uh, like, part 20-something as far as... Uh, and I think he's pretty much been there since the beginning. Uh, Vampiro, unfortunately, has not been dealt that good of a hand, but Muda's Muda, and I'm never gonna treat him, you know, I'm never, he's never gonna be a jobber, or anything, as far as I'm concerned, he's always gonna be, you know, right there, at the top, if he, if he doesn't have a belt, he's definitely gonna be number one contender for a lot of things, but, uh, alright, so I'm gonna be Vampiro, There's the bell, and, here we go to determine the next and as much as I can, I'm gonna have Kane in here, taking the brunt of everything because I don't want the world champion looking weak. Of course, if I do have Vampiro or Muda pin Daniel Bryan, then that means they could get a title shot on a, you know, maybe a pay-per-view or SmackDown or something along those lines. Because uh, we're not having enough title matches. I'm okay with, you know, one here and there, but I want it to be like where the title matches mean something. And they're not happening every week, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Like, Intercontinental title and U.S. title should be defended on TV. But the world title should be defended on pay-per-view. So I'm going to try and have more U.S. title and Intercontinental title matches. And we'll see how that works out. Because, you know, you got to... You got to set them up yourself. You can't just... Uh, the computer won't do it. A shining example of teamwork. The computer only does it on the uh, pay per view. Oh, they have Daniel in trouble. Oh, 
All right, come on. I don't want to squash you, Daniel Bryan. Bryan's in trouble. Oh no! Talk about getting lost. Here, tag out, ring. please, so I can power drive the hell out of Kane and Whoa. really, oh, really. That seriously, just happened there. All right, you asked for it. Driver. Oh. Now get up. I don't even know what Muda and Vampiro's no, tag finisher is. Tag him out. Come on, tag out. Please tag out. Thank you. Now I can go to town on him. Kane looks like a created wrestler. He doesn't look like a a wrestler that it was pre-made. It just looks goofy. His outfit does the flames do. It just ugh. That was a very nasty landing. Pretty good night from uh, Diving Elbow like Drop. Do you know how badly he must want to win this? And that oh, Kane's coming back. Neither one of these superstars can afford to give their opponent the upper hand. The ninja. I don't know how good the mist would work on Kane, considering that he has Kane's a mask on. Tag finisher? Maybe this way? No? No tag finisher? Okay. What's he gonna do here? Spider German. Watch out. He's looking to put a One. Two. Three. Oh, he made it just in time. Alright, so the Dark Carnival are the number one contenders. Two. The World Tag Team title, currently held by Kofi and R-Truth. And let's hope that stays. And I don't have to do another number one contenders match. I should also make Muda pretty well, no, because he didn't pin, pin Daniel Bryan. I don't know if it counts for tag matches, but we're gonna say that Muda got the pin, so he's in the tag team. He, he'll be in. Uh, he'll move up and higher in the rankings. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Thanks, Tony Chimmel, for just cutting out there. Appreciate it, pal. Weirdo. All right, so next match is going to be... Uh, forgot what the next match was going to be. This is match number four. Another main event is Del Rio. Oh, Ray versus Swagger. Yeah. Ew. This is kind of a... I'm a big fan of Swagger, even though I wasn't a few videos ago. I don't know. I'm kind of back and forth on Swagger. He pisses me off because he has all these good opportunities and fucks him up. And he just doesn't improve hardly any. The and you can but then Zeb Coulter, I love me some Zeb Coulter. Dutch Mantel. Is all about. Big STO. Could use him for the uh, Intercontinental title. Gold Dust versus Swagger would be a decent feud. For the US title. Or for the Intercontinental title. What the hell? Why am I picking up steps? Oh, he leg dropped the steps! You stupid bastard! You dumb bastard, you! Why would you do that? Oh, and then he got hip tossed on him. Even though it didn't really register it, we'll just say he got hip tossed on him. And I can't stand Rey Mysterio. I fucking hate him. Cannot st I liked him when he first started, but now he's just. He's all roided up and fat and just. Ugh. Like, I want 93 to 98 Ray. Not 99 to. Not, I hate the filthy animals, Ray. Where he was unmasked. And I liked Ray when he first started in WWE. 
Just a fantastic suplex. And then once he won the world title, he fucking sucked ass. Oh, that suplex was picture perfect. Belly to belly, right into an arm uh, stump puller. Got to work on that arm. That arm's not going to be good for much after this assault. Jack Swagger squeezing down. Jack Swagger. The elbows to the back there. Ah, he's doing push up. That's awesome. And let's see what he does here. Oh, that's what he does. Good night. Ouch. Too slow. Too slow, Jigolo. I have no idea what that means. Really working on that arm, man. And this is going to be the Blue Thunder driver. Yeah, that's not going to help you, Ray. Good try, though. Well, that didn't do anything at all. What the fuck? I guess I was working on the arm more, though. So let's try that. He's got it locked in. This could do it. Really? That would be a poopy move Swagger would do. Holy crap, the screen is shaking so much. Okay, I gotta change that. That's a shitty breaking point submission move. I thought it'd be like a Fujiwara or a, you know, a cross arm breaker or something, but not a fucking uh, chin lock. That's just lame. Of course, Swagger. Well, yeah. Good job, Swaggy. Uh oh, handshake here. Really? Yeah, that's right. You don't need that shit. Wait, why the hell is Swagger trying to shake his hands? He's a heel. Man, I can turn Ray heel and put a heel Sin Cara. I don't know. All right, main event time. Alberto Del Rio taking on Dolph Ziggler. Thanks to Mr. Del Rio, Dolph has a concussion right now, and he may have to give up his title for Extreme Rules. And he has only held it for what less than a month now, and he's already in danger of losing it. Good job, Del Rio, or Swagger is one of them. Hopefully, he's okay. I don't think he's even at Raw tonight. He better give him the belt. Hey, if they if they take oh the here we go. Join us. Be on your best behavior, Michael. Welcome, champ. Have a seat right here. All right, so something brewing between Mister Mister Ziggler and Daniel Bryan. We've been I'm okay with that. Special guest here at ringside, but it looks like the champ's going to be content to just watch how this match plays out. Well, can you blame him, Big super kick. I wonder if I can start some shit with Daniel Bryan. Let's go try it. Let's see if it'll let me even do it. Nope. Really? That's stupid. You think like Daniel Bryan will like stand up or something and at least confront me? Oh man, did you hear that? Oh man, I heard it. Let me tell you that. That's it. That's all he does. That's stupid. I question these move sets sometimes, a lot of times actually. Yeah, just devastating. I'm gonna make Del Rio tap out. I gotta work on that head. A swift kick. Okay, what do you think I gotta do a Rio submission match well, with this between Del Rio and threat, really Daniel, not Del Rio, uh, Ziggy and 
Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan's got that front net lock and the uh, LaBelle lock. Whereas Ziggy's got the sleeper hold. Uh oh, Del Rio's coming back. Del Rio's coming back. The big gut kitchen sink to the gut. Big rocker dropper. Oh man, that busted him open bad. And sleeper. You're gonna tap like a little bitch. Come on. Tap no Rio. Yep, he gave up. Bloody Del Rio taps to the big old sleeper from Ziggy. And I was really choking the shit out of him too, man. He was trying hard to get out of it. See if they show it. Eh, probably not. And then the rocker dropper from there. And hey, they're actually going to show the sleeper. Hot damn. Alright, so it looks like it's going to be Ziggy versus Daniel Bryan for the world title at the next pay per view. One superstar is happy that this one's over. You said it. The only good thing for him is that the beating stopped. Pretty good. Terrible crowd fixtures there. Anything gonna happen? No. Okay. Time to exit. Let's go see. Check out the rankings and whatnot. For capital punishment. That's the pay-per-view that's coming up pretty soon. Alright, one day here. And yeah, we'll take a look at the next card, the rankings. Got four weeks away, about to be three. Alright, we got Batista versus Titus O'Neil. Tommy Dreamer versus Muda versus Darren Young. That's gonna get changed. Carlito versus Primo, I'll leave. Ugh. What's with all the triple threats? Santino versus Brodus versus Kofi. Fandango over. Oh, no, this whole show's getting changed. Ugh. Damn. That's good. I can have my U.S. title match. All right, so we got Chris Jericho, Tenzai, Brodus, Clay, and R-Truth. Probably do Tenzai versus Jericho. Uh, why is R-Truth the number four contender? What the hell? Weird. Santino, Brodus, Otunga, and Kofi for the U.S. title. Dark Carnival. Primo and Epico, Team Hell No, Primetime Players, Nikki, Karma, Bree, and Alicia Fox, and then Ziggler, Edge, Sheamus, and Big Show. Goldust is the number one contender for the Intercontinental title. That's good. John Cena, Yoshitatsu, and Dolph. Alright, so I'm probably going to do... Zack Ryder versus Santino for the U.S. title. I might say that for the pay-per-view, though. We'll see. All right, well, we'll see. You'll come back to the next video, and you'll see what I set up. So, yeah.